Hello, so you join us once again, Smooth Traffic on YouTube. Um, I'm here with uh, a special lady and her name is Zoe. Um, she's made by Renault, unlike um, most of the other women that I've met. Now, um, Zoe is an electric car. Uh, she will do 0 to 60 in 13.5 seconds, which I seem to remember was about the speed that my Fiesta would do when I had that 10 years ago. So, pretty decent, I think, considering it's an electric car. Um, similarly, the top speed is 84 miles per hour, so realistically not aimed at someone who's going to be doing a lot of miles on the motorway. Um, the range, depending on the weather, uh, winter conditions, um, sort of mid 120s, um, perfect conditions, mid 170s, 180s, something like that. So generally, obviously, it's intended as a, as a roundabout town and city kind of car. Um, a few little quirky bits about it, these door handles. You have to push your thumb in to pull out the handle. Just think that looks quite cool. Space for a couple of people in the back. No issues there. Slightly tinny sound when the doors close, but it is what it is. Um, boot space. That's a two-body boot right there. No question about that. So yeah, all in all, electric car reasonable performance uh, figures, so let's see how she drives. <laughs> so we're now driving Zoe, the lovely car from Renault. Um, I've got to say first impressions, really rather good. Um, the, I mean, it, you wouldn't realise that it's an electric car. Uh, performance wise, I think it stacks up to anything of a similar size that isn't a hot hatch. Uh, it's quite happy pulling away, getting up to traffic speed without too much bother. Uh, we're keeping up with a few cars as we speak, although I imagine that Tommy Mackinnon is about to shoot past me now. Um, or maybe not. So, uh, some rather cool features on this. There is a, uh, a little TFT display uh, that I'm looking at, obviously which gives me all the details about uh, speed and whatnot. But, more importantly, uh, there's a cool little graphic on it which, as I'm moving, there are little green arrows um, going away from a, a battery sign, which is obviously telling me how charged the battery is. But then when I lift off the accelerator, or brake, uh, then the arrows go the other way, and they go a nice blue colour, and it starts recharging the battery. Uh, I know it's a very tiny, uh, you know, literally just something to look at. It's nothing particularly clever or technologically savvy, but I rather like it. Ben, because you've you've had a quick look at it, and uh, mm. I think actually the so that's a, a sort of a style point, isn't it? Really, I mean, it, yeah, you might argue it's distracting, but um, it's purely aesthetic. There's nothing. Yeah, <laughs> but actually the aesthetics of the car, I'm quite impressed. Mm. Um, the dash has a nice um, sort of soft touch. Uh, I don't know section to it here with a couple of this. There's a Zoe logo, which is kind of I suppose supposed to look like some sort of like circuit board type thing, which you can see in a few places. Um, the back top of the dash is like textured, a nice sort of chrome strip. It's like it's just a bit different. It's not. It's not kind of. Oh, look at me. I'm electric. But it's just slightly, slightly different. Yeah. Um, I quite quite like it. To be fair, it's, it's fairly comfortable. It feels like a cheap car. I think the car is more expensive than than you'd think it is from the interior. Um, so you're paying a premium for the fact it's electric. But at the same time, it's not. It's not uncomfortable. I think this car retails for around eighteen, nineteen thousand. Is it? Yeah. So um, with the um, sort of paint colour and everything that's on this one, yeah, yeah. I think it's about 19 but... And you have to pay an extra 50 quid roughly a month for battery rent. Yes. So that's something you need to factor in if you're looking at buying the car, is that there's an additional cost, which I suppose is not dissimilar to if you're refilling a car every month, yeah, you know, with petrol. So I suppose that's where you've got to look at it, is, is 50 quid a month um, worth it? Yeah, if you were going to put 50 quid of fuel in, so... Absolutely, you get the, um, you get the home charger box with it. Um, as standard, so there's no additional charge for that by the looks of it, from what I understand. Um, and yeah, obviously depending on how you're charging it, whether it's uh, through a DC or AC outlet, it's anything from sort of 1 to about 13 hours to get a full charge by the sounds of it. Uh, Which isn't terrible. No, not at all. Um, you can mostly charge it overnight, perfect for a commute, range is decent enough for a, yep. for pottering around the you know, general day-to-day -day stuff. Again, you wouldn't use it if you were planning on driving from London to Manchester. Because you know, any long journeys like that, you might struggle. Mm. Um, it's just 
just you know there are plenty of well there are lots of places around the country now to charge electric cars unfortunately there aren't you know if you turned up and someone was already charging their car you could be stuck for a couple of hours before you've got enough range to yeah. get to your destination and that's the biggest problem we have at the moment but that's improving and when with cars like this on the market you can see that changing over time it won't be long it won't be long until everyone has an electric car and you won't even think about it but <laughs> yeah I'm generally impressed I think I don't know if you just heard the, the sound of the indicator storm. Mm, yeah, what then, was that all about? <laughs> uh, <laughs> which, which sounded like some, uh, you know, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves off at the mine, just uh, mining away for, for jewels. But um, That probably was a little bit showy for the electric car. That was, a, <laughs> that was a rather off. unnecessary noise. Yeah, it was. But, you know, I mean, a, a clear indication of how, how forward thinking, obviously, electric cars are more generally um, with sort of the energy recovery that you know I touched on a minute ago with what's on the, the screen uh, we've now driven 4.8 miles yet we've only used three miles of the range so I'm sure that probably says something about my driving but um, I'll leave that for someone who's an expert we, we do have the about. perfect weather but then we've had the air conditioning on so yeah exactly pros and cons so you know all in all very good very impressed Top work Renault. And thanks Zoe. <laughs>